We wanted to explore a little bit of the science behind the soap berry. You can use five or six berries to do five or six loads. But how does that work? What are saponins and ASOGs, and how do they get your clothes clean? We talked with Dr. Paul Brown from Trinity Western University in Canada, who's done some testing on the Honduran soap berries to get a little bit of the idea of how soap berries work. First of all, there are really two main categories of compounds that are soap-like that are in the sapenda saponary of the soap net. And one of them, uh, one category are the saponins, or is the saponins, and the other category are what are called acyclic sesquiterpene oligoglycosides, or ASOGs for short, okay? so. And ASOGs are actually very similar to saponins. Basically, the way these things work uh, as soaps, you can think of a large category of compounds called surfactants. So a surfactant is something that reduces the surface tension of water and also will help dissolve grease, oils, things like that, uh, and yet still somehow remain suspended in water. If you think about a traditional soap, it's usually made from uh, fatty material and oil. You break it down to what's called a fatty acid and you combine it with uh, something like a sodium ion. The salt part has ionic charge which makes it water soluble and then the fatty part is a chain uh, that's not water soluble but it can dissolve greases and things like that. So you have a water-soluble part and a non-water-soluble part. So saponins are different than traditional soaps, but they have the same basic properties. They have a water-soluble part and they have a fat-soluble part. And the water-soluble part is made up of sugar, and then the fat-soluble part is made up of what's called a terpene. So then you have these two different categories of compounds, the ASOGs, which has a smaller terpene part and typically more sugars. And then you've got the saponins that also have sugars and a terpene, but the terpene's a lot bigger. So that fat soluble part is a lot bigger. And um, so they tend to be a little less soluble in water. And, uh, but anyway, that's the way they work. So they, they can help dissolve grease and different things when you put it in your laundry and yet they also help reduce surface tension so they just help clean your clothes and but they do it using sugars and terpenes. 